Hi, it's Steph with Simple Ponics. Today's focus is what is aquaponics? Start with a basic definition of what aquaponics is. It's the cultivation of fish, plants together, in a constructed recirculating ecosystem utilizing natural bacterial cycles to convert fish water to plant nutrients. That's a nice definition, but what does that mean for us? Basically, we have aquaculture and hydroponics working together as one. Aquaculture is growing fish or other marine species in a closed environment. Next question is, what is hydroponics? Thanks to marijuana, everybody knows, or almost everybody, and it's growing plants in a water solution. Those are tomatoes, by the way, which are my favorite. This leads us to the aquaponic cycle. This diagram shows us three basic elements, which are fish, bacteria, and plants. Fish produce ammonia, minerals, and other important byproducts. The bacteria purify water and turn this ammonia into nitrates. And the plants take these nitrates and grow more tomatoes, because I love tomatoes. Going back to aquaculture, some significant drawbacks. One of them being an aquaculture system, if it's closed, usually needs an expensive filtration system. If grown in a tank, usually 10% of the water has to be exchanged daily. That makes it very expensive as well as not sustainable. To get higher results, a lot of fish farms nowadays use hormones and antibiotics to increase their yield. That's just nasty. Hydroponics is pretty cool, but it also has some drawbacks. Fertilizer water is expensive and has to be constantly monitored. After some time, nutrient levels become toxic and have to be dumped out. This is where aquaponics kicks some butt. Aquaponics systems experience faster growth in hydroponics. They balance, and because they don't need expensive filtration, you can have a low running pump. The fish poop ends up being the fertilizer, so you don't have to buy an expensive solution. And feeding the fish is a lot cheaper than the fertilizer solution. Aquaponics can be taken one step further and making it super sustainable, where the only input is a bright and shining sun. Start the cycle with the tomato plants, plants in general, that become waste, that are fed to the worms, that are fed to the fish, which are processed by the bacteria, and the plants enjoy mm. That's it for this video. Leave some questions, comments, and don't forget to subscribe.